actually letting that one go. Yeah, I, I cheered up when I was at Dara's graduation. Yeah. Oh, hey, that being said, we are going to be seeing Tejus and uh, bon uh, <laughs> Silvio. Both of them are basically synonymous in my head now. Um, so, Bayo Hugo. I feel like Bayo has to be the aggressor in this matchup, as you would often find with Hugo, just because, like, you need to get in there before uh, Hugo is just, like, flying every single color known to man. Yeah, Bayo has to be the aggressor, but I think Bayo actually, aggressive wise, is pretty solid. Um, it, it's she's so she can get to one spot so fast, which is really what you need to totally yep. shut down that menu. So, um, and I think she can actually get around that side B too, which is one of here's like best options to keep space out. I think she has you good sure? tools. Um, I feel like she can jump over and then like after burn kick down, baiting and get out. But we'll see. We'll see how yeah, it goes. Yeah, for sure. It's it's usually typically gonna be a keep away tool, and the way that like she relies on like jump pins, especially diagonal down ABK. Um, to be able to get stuff started. I feel like that's going to be Tejus's best friend um, going into this. But this is such a good position for Silvio. Gets caught in the sauce a little bit too much. And the classic. The classic. ABK from ledge back. And gets him every time. Ooh, I like the up tilt attempt from Silvio. He's not going to be able to find it quite yet. But I feel like he has not been able to find a lot of these hits. It's like difficult to pin down Tejus. A great catch uh, on Silvio just being a little bit too defensive there, holding out to oh. shield. That whoosh there is going to be so big because he can continue this ledge trap, but because he was already pressing the back hill, he was not able to cover the up tilt in time um, on, the, on the platform, but I do like the idea nonetheless. Yeah, that up tilt would have been huge for Silvio because right now this leech is getting greater and greater. What a landing mix up too. I did not see that coming at all. Uh, Teju just jumped right into that one. And really the question for um, Silvio comes, how are you closing the stock out? You know, you can get all the spells you want, but you're going to have to get a read on Teju's movement. Yeah, that's what he relies on. Like a good back here, a good forward here, um, an F tilt at the ledge especially. You know what? Maybe? Not quite. Still, once again, misspaced and not ready to cover the ABK. Oh, I respect the attempt. It would have been a really mm -hmm. good leave. But actually going to now make you lose the stock. Really big damage afoot, already putting on like a total of 114 this stock alone. So, Sylvia needs to be able to put uh, on some quick before this game like really escapes him. Yeah, it's gonna be so important because Bayo can struggle to close out stocks, so you're gonna have to capitalize that off, off that the best you can if you're um, Sylvia right now. Wow, Clean and what a conclusion off that witch. Ooh, and a little taunt. Bayo classic. <laughs> That was great. That was that was the best possible way that you could play off of witch time. That was that was optimal. And you know, the delayed wake up there, just understanding that Sophia was gonna go through side B. Um, just timed it accordingly because that's really the best way to for to attack Chase. If you do attack and if you do pick an immediate option, but if you know that situation you could just be patient. Yeah, and um Teju's right there. Wow, Silvio had two buffs and then the Accelerado just was staying in the air, flying around, and Silvio yep. was not able to reach him. That's really how, what you should be doing, you know. There's no reason you cannot just wait those few, or like, um, I don't know how many seconds, but just wait it out. And then you're just in a better spot automatically. Wow. Silvio looked, like, really pressured. Silvio yeah. looked like he couldn't do much, like he couldn't get much started. Um, I don't know. It, it, it was like a very slow game for him. Yeah, that was that was a clinic. A clinic, they say. Um, yeah. Just knew where Silvio was going to go every time, pretty much. And mm -hmm. it was really because I think Silvio got a bit of that, like, desperation holding forward. You know, it ha yeah. happens to the best of us. Um, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I agree. He couldn't find any of those ends. He couldn't find a way to track Bane at his movement. Um, and, and it just became really difficult for him at the end of the day, so he needs to just be more aware of being in his approach options and just try to be like as defensive as he can be, especially from the beginning, because the last thing that you want to be doing is giving Bayonet a, a lead to start with. Yeah, but starting out with the oomph, this, this is really nice um, because... I don't think uh, Silvio had to lead that entire game, so yeah. if you can just get an early one right here, it could totally change the dynamic of the set. 
but it's not looking like it's happening. Oh, great catch on the missed tech. Is this going to be the stock from Tejus? Oh, uh, not almost. quite. Yeah, Silvio is just able to get out with the skin of his teeth. <gasps> Alright, one out of eight times. <laughs> that was the stock. Next one should be able to do it, but you know what? A really good up into, oh, excuse me, up into Florida from uh, Tejus is going to be able to finish it off. So, Town and City, I believe, is a mistake to take to Bay to take against Bayonetta because her edge guarding on this kind of a stage and her platform extensions. Look, look at this. Look what she does. It's it's unholy. Great uh, knowledge of how much landing lag Bayo would have there after all the specials, mm -hmm. but I agree. Bayo does like to kill off the side mostly, likes to space the talent city as well. Wow, what a catch on the double jump, and now Silvio has to land with no double jump. Still able to catch him before he lands, but then because it was a down throw and Silvio did hit the ground again, he got his double jump back, but you know what? 107 percent. That, that, that is a dead Chef's hero. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. That pressure was delicious. Yeah, I feel like Sylvia has got to be pretty frustrated at this point in the set. Just been a, a lot of really unfortunate situations he's found himself in. I, um, I, I just think Tejus is making the late Yeah, leads. exactly. Yeah, later. It's, it's frustrating, though. Um, getting red over and over again. So we'll, we'll see how uh, Sylvia is able to like keep his composure. But. Sylvia keeps on trying to initiate with a lot of falling aerials and jump-ins. And he's mm -hmm. constantly getting caught through pressing things oh. that he really, really shouldn't be. Tries to find a way to offer the Town City platform. That time, finally catching Tejus, pressing all those specials. So that's going to be that in. Yeah, Tejus's uh, punish game has been so good. Like This is one of the strongest Bayou, like punish games I've seen in Ultimate. Yep. Just getting so much percent and even kill confirms off it. And is that a dead hero? No, no sweet spot. Oh. Ooh. But you are going to get shot for that menu. Yeah, I just, that was just, um, I tough. think, tough, yeah. I am. Mean, I wonder, I know uh, Silvio recently posted a matchup chart for Hero, and I wonder where he thinks Bayo is, because that, that seems hard. Seems that like seems Bayo really has, hard, like, because really a lot good of, tools. Think about the way that Hero initiates. What does Hero do to start stuff? Falling neutral, falling forward, to be able to get a downfield, to be able to get a, you know, uh, and, and find some sort of a grab follow up. When you have an entire character whose game plan basically relies on catching jumps, right? Catching you in your jump, catching you at mid range with side B. When you have really limited out of shield options, when you're maybe not necessarily the most mobile in the cast, and you maybe not have the fastest startup. You take all those factors um, into one, and you realize, wow, Hero does not have fast, quick tools to be able to initiate, to be able to pressure Bayonetta that easily. Uh, especially if you rely on a lot of jump-ins with pretty safe aerials, right? Bayonetta in that case just plays really second beat, and we saw time and time again, especially in the corner, as Sylvia was getting a little bit more antsy, he would just constantly jump in place, and Tejus is like, bet, I'm gonna get under you in Witch Twist, I'm gonna ABK you from the side. Uh, and that's how he just took so much damage. Um, how do you even initiate? I, I, I cannot tell you. I think